I have a pretty good selection of wire wrapped crystals and gemstones. Show me. Um, we'll go ahead with our, these are my chaos moons. These are usually my most popular design. I've got three different types. This one will have like Swarovski beads and this is a type of turquoise. And then we have labradorite and amethyst and um, moonstone and cubic zirconia. Um, so on this side, I have a lot of really well, really detailed wire wrap bracelets, mostly in copper. I do have a stainless steel one as well. Um, like most of the stuff that I have is gemstones and as I do have some that are glass I have a friend who does lamp work and she will make me a few pieces here and there okay. and then I also you say gemstones like what kind of gemstones oh I have so many I have what do you so got many. talk to me Ruthie what do you, be so specific. specifically I've got like right here we have an onyx and then like a beautiful red carnelian um, and then I usually have a lot of, we've got, this is called a golden healer's quartz. It's got really cool inclusions of iron inside of it. Okay. Um, and then like this one is another one that has inclusions and from afar, you can see it has a piece of tourmaline right there at the top. Mm -hmm. And this is called a mystic topaz. Okay. And heck, let's go over here. All right. We've got some more. Everybody's favorites are moonstone. Here is this white one and then labradorite because they've got a beautiful flash inside them that's due to the type of stone that they are and the way that the crystal itself is structured. Okay. And then I also have some straight out of Lake Superior Michigan stones. I'm a block printing artist, so everything I make in here is made from a hand carved block. This is a work in progress. It's a sh bitey shark and I print each item individually. So all of them are just like a little bit different. As you can see, some of them print a little differently mm -hmm. and I print on a variety of items from you know, different papers like bot botanical prints. I print in different colors. And I print on pouches and things like that. Mm -hmm. I also make little buttons and I make stickers. Some of them are from my prints and some of them are from hand illustrations. Very cool. Even my magnets are hand printed. And my little notebooks. Coasters are one of my newest items. You get four different Michigan mushrooms. All of those are native mushrooms to Michigan. Two are edible, two are poisonous. Don't get them confused. <laughs> so most of my items are 3D printed items. I have a variety going from Halloween to Christmas to just every day. Most of them are flexies. And What's a flexi? A flexi is an articulated object that can move and twist and you can fidget with and it just moves around freely. Okay. The amazing things about these is they are 3D printed, already flexi. I do not have to assemble them. They are printed on my 3D printers just like this. These are my sublimation tumblers. Sublimation is a craft that is using heat to put the image onto an object. In this case, this is tumblers. It can also be used in making shirts making uh, coasters a variety of things. I actually do have some car coasters that are sublimation as well. I also do have epoxy tumblers. These are my epoxy tumblers. They are a process to make. They use both uh, two-part epoxy as well as glitter, decals, and a little bit of art of my own mind. All right, everything I make is handmade. I do original paintings, drawings. I love to work in the garage, doing woodworking. I love to make jewelry. I'm restless all the time, so I'm always trying new mediums. And so everything you see comes from an original piece. So if we're looking at the koozies, those are all from original paintings I've done. And I have now scanned them in, printed them out, and even heat pressed them at home. And the coffee mugs I think are fun because they are double sided. So if you see the front here, you're seeing the back of the mug here. So that'll give you an idea. I, oh, these are magnets. Yes, yes. And I like them because they are already formatted to a four by six size. So if anybody did want to put them in a little frame, they're already the right size, but they're great for your refrigerator or anywhere else. 
So they're coming kind of handy that way, I think. Okay, what else do we got here? Over here are coffin bamboo cutting boards. So <laughs> I take a piece of bamboo and I cut it down to this coffin shape, sand them down smooth. I actually also hand cut out these little knives and this is my favorite part is that they are magnetized and you can magnetize them to the top or the bottom if you want so that you can hang them, put them on a stand. I would burn different little decorative elements into those so I really enjoy those. Well, my favorite one right now is the Three Little Pigs. And this is, I started with the pigs, but they needed a big bad wolf. <laughs> but then I was sad because I want them to be able to get away from the big bad wolf. So they have magnets on the back. So you can take them out and play with them. And then they have a little house that they can live in. This is a portrait of vultures as angels. So vultures are the ones that get rid of any decomposing flesh and send those, those souls to their next life. Okay, uh, is that a cat down there? Yes, I love the goofy face a friend of mine's cat had and needed to make a picture of it. You did the pole dancing cat. Yes, yeah, so I still have a few of them. I have a witch riding a cat over here. So I, I'm still making cats, lots of cats. <laughs> They're lover's eyes, which are originally people would make pendants. And it was a Victorian era fad, I guess, where people would wear their lover's eyes, but I've taken it a bit farther. And your lover doesn't need to necessarily be a person even. It could be your cat. Yes, this is Madame Flem. She's a psychic, but she has hay fever, and it's the time of year where she sneezes a lot. But her sneezes do have magic in them. So each one of these snots has your very own fortune in it. This is special. This is the goblin that has King Tut's fart preserved in amber. It's a one of a kind piece can't get King Tut's fart anywhere else. So what we have here is kind of my smorgasbord of just everything, anything and everything that I'm capable of creating custom-wise. I am also part of the display. <laughs> so from my bucket hats that have pockets on them, as well as our satin line. Where is that pocket at? There it is. They're so subtle, I have to go looking for it. From that, I do upcycle drawstring bags. So all of my, any fabric that comes from these le these projects that's left over, I cut them up and I put them into, uh, into the bags okay. so that there's no waste. And down to the tiny scraps go into my necklaces. Okay. Um, over here is my resin lip pendants. Wanted something that people could relate to while at the same time they being able to feel kind of like an individual so Rocky Horror Picture Show is the inspiration but having various different styles okay. so yeah and, All right, what else? and then over here is my one-of-a-kind design so every, I do button-down shirts that all include some form of donated or fabric or again scrap pieces uh, upcycled material okay. keeping that running through um, from that, I've done fully fully built t-shirts and then gone as small as by, as getting uh, shirts and then revamping them. So mm -hmm. having taking my scrap fabric again and just kind of going through and making a careless fashion statement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have um, terrariums as well. Um, these This is like a road deer skull. Things I've collected over the years. Um, the taxidermy are uh, really adorable little, this one has a little uh, monarch butterfly as its wings, it's a fairy duck. Okay. Um, we just love making like really elegant uh, things that are, you know, have passed away, but we they're, they're still adorable, you know, we want them to be preserved and loved and what adored. Else got, what else you got? Uh, we got a clock here that I've turned into something to just be more it's than a clock. A down yeah, yeah there we go. It hangs on your wall. Um, I, <laughs> Got it from Goodwill, the clock, but I refurbished it and made it into a terrarium. 
So the squirrel is from Ferndale. <laughs> It was roadkill. Um, she had, was literally looked like she was just hit, uh, and I preserved her as much as I could. Um, I really loved. It. I was gonna turn her into squirrel pool, but you know, making a, a mask is and taxidermy is a whole different thing. You know. Uh, we got earrings here. Um, lots of different type styles of earrings. The bones, the real bones, they're uh, vertebrae um, from a, a rattlesnake. We got these adorable little ducks that came from our friend's farm. You know, we love little duck ducklings, but sometimes they don't always, you know, live to tell, the ta tell their tales. And uh, here we try to preserve them a little bit and bring them back to life, bring some joy to people. You know, even we got uh, Quackula and Franken Duck here, <laughs> and <laughs> if you can come up with a name for the King Tut, the mummy. <laughs>